Welcome to the Continuing Federal Employees Health Benefit and Retirement Overview presented by the Army Benefit Center Civilian. This brief overview will cover basic information to assist you in your Federal Employee Health Benefit or FEHB retirement election. There are several criteria you must meet to carry your FEHB benefit into retirement. First, you must retire on an immediate annuity. This means your retirement must be optional or voluntary, and you must meet age and time and service requirements. You must also be covered by an FEHB plan on the date of your retirement. Third, you must be covered in an eligible FEHB plan for the five consecutive years of service prior to retirement or be covered in a plan since your first opportunity to enroll. Your first opportunity to enroll in FEHB will play a special role in situations such as a voluntary early retirement or discontinued service retirement, which will be discussed in detail on the next slide. Coverage as a family member under your spouse's FEHB, TRICARE, or CHAMP VA plan does count toward the five consecutive year requirement, but you must be enrolled in a qualifying FEHB plan prior to retirement and provide an eligibility statement from your non-FEHB plans administrator. There are two ways you may obtain a waiver of the five-year FEHB requirement if you are retiring under a voluntary early retirement authority or discontinued service retirement. First, you must be enrolled in a qualifying FEHB plan on the first day of the VERA buyout period and you must retire during the buyout period. You must also be scheduled to receive a Voluntary Separation Incentive Payment, or VSIP as it's commonly called, or retire on an early optional retirement because of an early out authority, or retire on a discontinued service retirement based on involuntary separation due to a reduction in force. If you meet these eligibility criteria and are interested in a pre-approved waiver for your VERA or DSR retirement, please contact us at the Army Benefits Center Civilian or visit https colon forward slash forward slash abc.chra.army.mil for more information. When an employee retires and becomes an annuitant, some things regarding your FEHB will change and others will remain the same. Upon retirement, your FEHB premiums will be paid monthly rather than biweekly and are not eligible for premium conversion. Since annuitants are not eligible for premium conversion, your premium will be deducted from your annuity check after taxes have already been deducted. Your annuity is paid once per month, unlike the biweekly pay as an active employee. Another way your FEHB differs at retirement is canceling your FEHB at any time during your retirement is a permanent choice. While you can re-enroll during open season events as an active federal employee, this is no longer the case for the annuitant. Lastly, you will no longer contact the Army Benefit Center Civilian or the Defense Finance and Accounting Service for questions regarding your benefits and pay once you are in the OPM system. OPM becomes your Benefits and Finance Center all in one once you are receiving interim annuity pay. There are a few things that will remain the same as an annuitant regarding your FEHB benefit, however. The same plans are available to you and premium costs will remain the same along with the same qualifying life events or QLE opportunities. Additionally, the same annual open season process will also apply to all annuitants. While the Army Benefits Center civilian does not handle issues, advisement, or enrollment pertaining to Medicare, we do like to provide a small overview of the information for those who are not familiar with it. Medicare has four different parts. Medicare Part A covers you for hospitalization and is of no cost to you. Upon age 65, you will receive a letter from Medicare to enroll in Part A because it is free. Medicare Part B is for medical benefits. 
There is a monthly premium associated with coverage under Part B that is based on your yearly adjusted gross income. Medicare Part C is generally referred to as Medicare Advantage and is offered by a private company. Medicare Part D is associated with prescription drug costs and has a monthly premium associated also with this benefit. There are various plans associated with Part D. For more information on Medicare, please contact your local Medicare or Social Security agency. If you have ever been enrolled in TRICARE or CHAMP VA coverage during your federal career, these enrollments can be used to meet the five consecutive year test. Military retirees and their spouses can use their time enrolled in TRICARE, CHAMP VA, or another federal health benefit to count toward the five consecutive years of FEHB coverage. If this applies to you, a TRICARE or CHAMP VA eligibility letter must be obtained from the non-FEHB service center and you must provide a front and back copy of the ID that allows the non-FEHB coverage. FEHB coverage can also be suspended if you opt for TRICARE or another federal health benefit. Completion of the RI-79-9 form is required to suspend your FEHB coverage in retirement. An annuitant can suspend FEHB coverage to use another federal health benefit such as TRICARE, Medicaid, Medicare, or CHAMP VA at retirement. While you must be enrolled in FEHB at the time you retire, you may suspend your FEHB coverage when you retire to use a non-FEHB federal health benefit. If your non-FEHB coverage is involuntarily lost for any reason, you can return to FEHB coverage via qualifying life event election or open season election. It is important to note there are two eligibility criteria for a spouse to continue FEHB coverage in the event of your passing. One, your spouse must be covered under your qualifying FEHB plan at the time of your passing and two, you must elect at least a partial survivor annuity for your spouse at the time you retire. This concludes the Federal Employee Health Benefit in Retirement Overview. If you have questions or concerns about the FEHB election process prior to retirement, please don't hesitate to contact our call center by visiting https colon forward slash forward slash abc.chra.army.mil using the yellow contact us tab to ensure you are connecting with your agency's assigned benefit specialists. Call center hours are from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Central Time, Monday through Thursday, with the exception of federal holidays, and we would be happy to assist you with any questions you might have. You can also like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, or subscribe to our YouTube channel for up-to-date agency information and benefits tips.